and I'm going to put this on top so that we can see it. On top, so it'll it'll stay on top. So I'm going to put it up in the corner here so that we can see it. So what it is is that if you know the ultimate tensile strength, let's say 10 to the 130, cancel. So if I know the ultimate tensile strength and it's about 130, we can go look it up. And you say, oh, F is about 8.1. Can you see that? For a K, 130 KSI. Well, in your textbook, it will tell you what is the conversion between KSI and uh, this one. But the, but the conversion is roughly uh, seven times. So what it means is, let me write it down here uh, so that we have it kind of permanent. Uh, what is that? Um, 7 PSI, um, 7 KPSI equal to 1 megapascal. 7 KPSI equal to 1 megapascal. So, 200 KPSI is 1400 megapascals. Okay. So, it is a fairly easy thing. Take all these numbers, multiply by 7 to get it into megapascals. Okay. In my particular textbook, I have everything in KPSI because it was easy for me to cut and paste the pictures. But in your case, it might be slightly different. Okay. So, we now know how to compute F. Now, how about B? The next thing we know is at n equal to 10 to the 6, Sn prime equals S e prime. And the amazing thing is the following. S e prime equals 0 0.5 S ultimate up to, um, let us see, up to around 1400 MPa, which is 700 PSI, 700 KSI. Otherwise, it is constant after that. So, this 1400 PSI is like a magic number. If you are above that, increased ultimate tensile strength does not give you increased fatigue strength. Your maximum fatigue strength that you can get is about 700 MPa. By the way, these are all not accurate numbers. You cannot take a specimen and run it and say, how come it lasted for 785 MPa? This is a rough idea just to get you some design parameters, okay? One significant figure accuracy. So, do not take it too seriously, okay? So, that is how it goes. So, now we have a pretty good idea of what is S e prime. So, S n prime S u t equals f times 10 to the 6 over 10 to the 3 to the power b. So, this turns out to be F times 10 to the 6, 10 to the 10 to the 3. What is the ratio? You can see it is squared. You see that? So, the ratio between this is 10 to the 3 to the power B. So, B equals So, I want to make sure I, I get the same setup equals minus 1 over 3 log of S um, S uh, let us see S F prime over S E prime. This is strength of 10 to the 3 strength at 10 to the 6 so let me state it in words so our general result is the following uh, s n prime equals f times n over 10 to the 3 to the power b that's what it looks like okay so let me state it in words. So, the fatigue strength at n cycles 
S n prime equals uh, divided by sorry this one I have write as u t. So divided by ultimate tensile strength equals the fatigue strength at 10 to the 3 cycles divided by u t strength times number of cycles over 10 to the 3 to the power b. So this is the modification. And the value of b is this. Okay. Just to get us going, let us do a very simple example so that we know what we are talking about. Let us see, I am given, so let us do estimate the uh, Sn curve for 1050 hot rolled steel. 1050 HR 